well, I want to point out something out first. He's not going to do the full contest. I don't think so. Because you saw he put up on Instagram his little checklist of all the things he's accomplished, and there was still an X under the 230 log. There wasn't under Europe's, and he's always had that on his list, right? So that's very mm -hmm. calculated on his way. He didn't have winning Europe's Strongest Man as a thing, and uh, he's so smart in how he approaches everything he does in Strongman. He's incredibly statically strong, um, but he doesn't do things that he knows, like he's like, this isn't my best option uh, you know, to get the, the result and, you know, to keep building his legacy and his way to be the strongest man that ever lived. Not necessarily the best. Story. And making and making a living. And making a living, which is great. And, you know, this, this sport has chewed up and spit out so many people that everyone forgets about five years after the fact. And they have nothing to show for it other than some memories and some trophies that I really commend Eddie Hall for doing how, how he's approached Strongman as a business and navigated his career. And I hope more people do it that way and are able to use it versus it use them. Well, um, you use the word navigate, so people are going to make comments. Actually, he's <laughs> commanded his career technically, Kale. Whatever. Um, but the issues are, we saw at Britain's, on the, on the yoke especially, and he said that he had like a dislocated hip uh, he just said on his seated log press video that he, uh, you know, he twisted his ankle or something fighting bears. Um, on his that 213 video, he said he was he meant to go up to 220 that day, but just didn't feel right. Uh, so I just don't know how healthy his back and hips are to be able to stabilize 500 pounds at the top on that big of a wooden log. I know he's strong enough to press it. Uh, it's just how is the clean going to work? How, like, will he be able to stabilize it?